Hi, Leslie. Uh, okay. My colleague Zach talked to you recently. Yes, I had a great call with Yes. Him. Uh, he asked you what you're submitting for the Emmys. You said the finale. It's but true. You didn't get any spoilers then, so I want you to just uh, reveal everything uh, now. Now Why I did... can reveal it because yes. it's out there in the world. Yeah. Why are you going with that one? Uh, you know, it's the culmination of the season. There's so many storylines that come to a head, both for Carrie Matheson with, you know, going to Russia, bringing back Simone Martin, and of course, yeah. what happens with Saul, that she puts herself on the line to get Simone out of Russia yeah. and and sacrifices herself and then of course what happens back in America with the president mm -hmm. you know we're in a time where our country is as divided as it's ever been and you know we have a president uh, President Keene who actually takes the higher road and does something to try to unite the company the company mm -hmm. the country which is resigned <laughs> because she knows she can never bring people back together. And to have a politician do something that is selfless was kind of an amazing thing to be dealing with. And of course, then the last scene of the episode is Carrie and Saul. And we hope that Carrie is going to be okay, but as she crosses that bridge, we have no idea what state she's going to be in. Yeah. What would you say Homeland's impact on the television landscape is? Oh, that's a really good question. Um, you know, I love that every season we reinvent the wheel and we do, uh, you know, a whole new reset. So I think it's looking at a lot of very complicated issues and complicated emotional layered characters. And hopefully it entertains, but it also asks a lot of questions. 